Hey everyone, it's Noel Christopher with Renner's Warehouse. It's coming to you with a quick video here. Really want to talk about this home builder uh, data that's come out recently. And it's something that uh, I, mean, I talked about last week. And there's a great article by, by, by John Toby who writes for Forbes that really breaks this down. And if there's somebody you want to read, read John Toby with Forbes. He really differentiates himself by actually looking at the data and understanding the data and writing about it properly and not whole, not jumping on to some sentiment that's out there or an article that's been poorly written. The problem with the May housing starts is this. First thing happened is, uh, is that April was adjusted. And when they put in the May starts, it was based off of the non-adjusted data and I'm talking about real adjustment, not seasonally adjusted, which I'll talk about in a minute. So the non-adjusted data, so they were they moved the goalposts on April, but didn't move the goalposts on May. And it was really about the increase in housing starts and increase from the consensus. Well, the average adjustment on a month in the last year has been 3.1% on housing starts. So take that into an account. If there's a zero before the number, you maybe should discount that and don't use it as uh, empirical data. It is actually an estimate and it gets adjusted. And if it has a zero in front of it, it's pretty much a wash. So I'd probably say it stayed stable or it didn't grow a whole lot. But to say it went down, it's the worst it's been in since 2012 and things like that is, is kind of crazy to me. Uh, and really when you're looking at this data, you know, the U.S. Census, Census Bureau puts out uh, seasonally adjusted numbers. And that can be really confusing. So just my advice is to take a look at the numbers, look at it year over year, month over month. That's why they'll seasonally adjust it. But what they do is they seasonally adjust those numbers to come out with a what they think the uh, home builder starts or, or, the, or the housing starts will be for the year. And there's so many things that can affect the seasonally adjusted number that it's better to just look at the real numbers. So take away from from looking at the uh, at seasonally adjusted numbers and really look deep into into the actual data and take into some other housing data into into account. So, so just take a closer look at the data. And I've been saying this all the time when I post videos on here. Don't just trust what you read. If you read what all the articles have been been out in the last week about home builder starts, uh, it is basically saying that we're going into a recession. Home builders are pulling back, but really the data is showing that they've increased and they're increasing every month. You just have to give some time for the data to catch up. Just remember, when it comes, when the first report comes out, it's estimates. And if they're comparing an estimate to the true number from the month before, it's going to be off. So take a few months and see what the data really is. Let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to hearing from you on your comments. Thanks.